Super Palace. This is my studio right here. I also live in here. This is my bedroom that I rent out. As you can see, I have my comfortable bed here. That was unnecessary, but it felt like an MTV's crib moment. Uh, but yeah, this is my my room slash studio. Um, probably one of the best bedroom studios you're ever going to come across the internet. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll show you this side. This is the actual studio part of the room where you know the keyboard's kind of sectioned off the bedroom side of things. Let me go ahead and get into what's in the studio. I did a studio tour maybe two or three years ago. I don't remember, but it was a very long time ago, my last studio. And there's a few things in here that, are, that came from the last studio, but now I'm just kind of going over what I got in the studio now, because it's definitely been one hell of an upgrade. So let's go ahead and start from that side of the room and make our way this way. Here I have my pegboard where I have my Xbox controllers. I'd be gaming every now and again with the boys, with my dogs. And I just have a bunch of little trinkets, my keys, my chains, sunglasses, just little things that are conveniently, you know, reachable. Uh, I, I gotta keep my, my lotion, you know, next next to my, my napkins, or my, uh, my- Stop the cap. <laughs> my Kleenex. I have really bad allergies and I get really ashy. So that was the main reason why that's there. Now that that's done, let's get into the fun part of the studio. So, this, is the setup right here. Everything is sitting on an output platform desk. So if you guys remember from my last setup, I had a custom desk built, which was referenced from this desk, but I finally got gear, as you can see here, which I'll explain in a little bit, um, to mount. The reason why I got the last desk is because I didn't think I was ever gonna get gear. Finally got gear, and once I got it, I'm like, okay, I gotta get the official desk, gotta find one. Um, the thing is about this desk is that they don't make it anymore, so you gotta like look on OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace and find one. I had to, I think I found mine on OfferUp, and yeah, that's how I got it. I have two 32 inch Dell curved monitors, uh, 1440p. I had one at first, and I finally got two just for productivity. The reason why I have two monitors is because I do a lot of scoring. So I have my DAW on my left side and I have whatever it is that I'm scoring on the right side, whether it's uh, you know, a TV show that I'm working on, if it's a commercial. Uh, sometimes I'll just have YouTube playing a video here while I'm making music. Sometimes I'll be playing the Xbox on this monitor and be making music on this, on this one I love here. Uh, everything, as far as audio is plugged in to this audio interface right here to the left is called, uh, it's, sorry, it's made by Antelope Audio. It's called the Discrete 8 Pro Synergy Core. Shout out to Antelope Audio. They actually sent this out to me. It's a eight input interface where you can uh, pretty much have eight things plugged into it. You can do more obviously if you get more output gear to either ADAT or SPDIF, uh, whatever, how, whatever your preference is. In my case, I have this other interface, the Scarlett 18 i 20 ADATed into this so that I can have more inputs. Even though I'm in a bedroom, <laughs> I really don't need that amount of inputs, but for whatever reason, if I do, I can plug in a whole you know, drum set, I can do guitars, bass, um, vocals, the whole nine. I could have people hooked up in the garage, which is on the other side of this wall, and just go crazy if I really wanted to. I haven't done it yet, but I would love to do that. I have the Ableton Push 2 right here. This is super dope. I recently started using Ableton in 2021 and I decided it was necessary to get a push. It's a super dope controller, really easy to program my drums and you know, just play chords on it and just, you know, just program the tra whatever tracks that it is that I'm working on. And it's just aesthetically pleasing to have on the desk. I have the complete Control MK2. Uh, this is actually a white decal that I put on it. As you can see, I have like the white aesthetic going on in the room. So I just need the keyboard to match. So this is the main keyboard that's plugged into the computer that controls all the MIDI. I actually have these headphones whenever I'm uh, making beats and headphones, the Dr. Sorry, Beats by Dre Pros. 
these aren't the best headphones to mix in. I just like the way they sound for making beats. So don't be in my head in the comments talking about why he makes it on headphones. They just sound really good. They have really nice low end that I go for. The Big Knob Studio Pro, back to the audio. So this is a monitor controller, but it can also be used as an interface. This is actually what I mainly use for my YouTube streams. So I have my discrete eight interface going out to this and then this going to OBS, which is what's outputting the broadcast to YouTube. Super dope interface slash monitor controller. You can have up to three sets of monitors. In this case, I only have one, so it's kind of overkill, but I did have multiple monitors in here, monitors in here at one point. Um, you can have up to three outputs of, uh, of sources. You can do an aux right here in the front, you can do two headphones that has talk back, the whole nine. This is really dope. Right here on the right hand side, I have these channel strips by DBX, the DBX 286s. So they're really affordable channel strips if you are looking into doing some type of processing before getting to the box, AKA your DAW. This is a really affordable way to go about it. It pretty much has your preamp built in, it has a compressor, has deesser, EQ, and a gate, and additional output gain um, that I actually use for, actually I'll show you right here. I use that for this microphone right here, which is an AKG C214. This is what I'm mainly using for when I'm streaming online or if I'm recording like percussion or things of that matter. Um, or if I have somebody coming over that wants to record themselves, they can just pull this out right here and just, you know, and just go crazy. And then the other one actually controls the booth mic. It's not really a booth, it's just a corner, but that's an AKG C414 that I use mainly for when I'm recording vocals myself. Um, when I have clients over or whoever I'm working with. So I have three keyboards here, as you can see, minus the, the mini keyboard. So I have, I'll start with this one. I got the Micro Freak uh, by Arteria. It's a super dope synthesizer. Uh, pretty much has a like several hundred sounds on there. I, do, I like to use it for just like modular uh, synthesis as far as like background sound. Sometimes I'll plug it into uh, a keyboard so I can play chords with it. Cause this thing is it's all touch. So you can't really like play chords on it, but if you output the, the MIDI, you can actually, you know, play chords with a, with a different keyboard. And then I have the Roland Juno DS 61 key. Now what I love about this keyboard is that it has everything you need on here from pianos to electric pianos, to bass sounds, to uh, synths, pads, uh, Vox, everything you need is on here, like just the basics. The newest keyboard that I just got in the studio, the Juno X. Crazy story, so pretty much went to Guitar Center and I was they had it out for display and I was playing it and I called my buddy Nobby and shout out to Nobby and I'm like, bro, they got a Juno X inside of Guitar Center. I have him on FaceTime and I guess the, the worker sees me playing it and he sees that I'm excited about the keyboard and then the guy comes over, he's like, yo, he's like, you want this keyboard? I'm like, yeah, but it's expensive, I wanna drop 2K on it. I think it's like 2100 or 2000, I don't remember. He's like, one second, I'll be back. Comes back, he says, yo, I'll give it to you for this price. And I'm like, oh, bag it. I'm taking it home today. <laughs> That's pretty much how I got this keyboard. So shout out to that representative of Rock Guitar Center for giving me this keyboard. All right, so I guess the machine that's powering all this or that it's all plugged into is gonna be behind this left monitor here. Actually, I can lift it up for you so you don't have to put the camera back there. I have the monitors on these monitor arms, so it just makes it easier for me to access everything behind here. But I have a MacBook Pro uh, M1 Max. It's completely maxed out, so it has eight terabytes of space. It has 64 gigabytes of RAM. Um, and yeah, the M1 Max processor was super fast. I have no problems with it. The probably the best computer that you can buy on the market with the exception of like the M2s and stuff like that. But for the most part, it's practically the same. Um, and then I'm also using this CalDigit uh, dock here, which is super fire. It's, done, it's uh, Thunderbolt 4. And I have practically everything plugged into that from the keyboards to the interfaces everything everything's plugged into that so literally just one cable to plug into the computer and everything is good to go and the computer uses it really well over here to the booth it's really a corner it's not really a booth but this is where i record people 
again, the C414 microphone, and I have it uh, inside of a Chaotica eyeball, which helps, you know, give me a very dead sound in this corner. This room isn't like fully treated, which I'll get to in a second, but it really helps, <laughs> excuse me, with it being in the corner because all the sound is traveling this way. And uh, yeah, I, I get really good results with this thing. I have a few uh, SM7Bs that me and my buddy Skills actually custom painted. Um, I just use these for whenever I have multiple people over when I'm streaming or if I want to mic up some drums or, you know, just do anything that's just multi-recording uh, wise. I just pull these out. Oh, I, got, I actually got these drums right here in the corner from Ghana. I went to Ghana last year, uh, 2022 December. And I, I brought those from the motherland. I use those pretty often actually. This pegboard here, I'll, I'll let you get in this car so you can show them, uh, cameraman. <laughs> but um, yeah, I got a pegboard here on the left side. You can get these from Ikea, which is super dope. Pretty much, um, yeah, you just put little hooks on it and I just have all my, my cables and headphones and things so that I can just easily access them. I used to have all of my cables in a drawer, which I still kind of do, but I'm not gonna show you that because it's messy. <laughs> but yeah, all my cables that I use uh, the most are right here on this pegboard here. I have this chair here. Uh, I got it from Amazon. I don't know what the brand is, but I just really, really like the, the design and the mesh on it and the color actually. It wasn't too dark, but I wanted something that was, wasn't was too light either. Um, yeah, I'll put the link in the description for everything by the way, if you guys are interested in copying anything. But yeah, super affordable chair, mad comfortable. And I have these these lush rims on it. I was playing. I got these <coughs> these rollerblade style wheels on it, and it's super smooth. Like it makes no noise as it goes on the ground, which is super fire. Um, I got to be careful sometimes because it, it's so smooth that sometimes I end up on the other side of the room. So I got to be careful. Uh, on this side of the room, it's pretty plain, which is what I like. Let me lock that in so I don't break anything. Uh, I have. Uh, some plants and this nice little futon I actually recently just got. Um, I've actually had this futon before, I just rebought it because the one I had before was just worn and like I, I just had it for a very long time and I just want to replace it. But yeah, this is a dope futon I got from Amazon. I'll put that in, in the description as well. As you can see on the walls here, I have some type of treatment going on here. Uh, me and the homies actually built these ourselves. So we just watched a bunch of YouTube videos and was trying to figure out the best and easy way, easiest way really to make panels because there was so many, so many videos and so much information on how to go about it. And I'm just like, I'm not a carpenter. I'm not a, like I said, this is in the last video actually. I'm not a builder of any sorts, but I, I can follow directions. So yeah, we came up with these panels here. Shout out to the homie Kami. These aren't my strings, actually. <laughs> the, uh, so I'll start with the guitar here. This is a Fender Strat. Um, it's it's a clean guitar. I don't really play it often, to be honest. It's just there for aesthetics mostly. But whenever I do uh, purchase my own set of strings, this will probably be the one that I buy. We have a Yamaha bass. I don't know if it's a, a particular type of bass, but it works really well. And I like it. I play this more often than I do the, uh, the electric guitar. But yeah, this also fits the aesthetic with the, the white and the wood color that I have in here. Um, and I have, you know, some Kirkland cables that I use with the guitars. I have actually Kirkland cables on the keyboards uh, riding to the back to the interface here. Yeah, I want to say that is everything in the studio. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and hit the comments below um, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because um, there will be more content and shout out to you guys I'm now at 10,000 subscribers so shout out to you guys I really do appreciate that but if there's any other gear that you guys think I should put in the studio please also let me know down in the comments as well because I am always building always doing something new in here so I'm gonna max this room out to the best of my abilities so before I get out of here I'm actually go ahead and uh, Light some Palo Santo, shout out to Mellotron. Got a, a lighter from Nam by then. Get the vibes right really fast. There you have it. 
just to tie it all up. Thank you guys once again. I really appreciate it. I get out of my studio.